I gotta say, I like, uh, I gotta say, making my Keyblade setup was kind of difficult. I was planning to make it on stream, but at the same time, I was like, you know, I don't want some scrub to pass me, coincidentally, just because Optimize wants to give me a, a crappy setup. So, I made a setup last night, which was part of the reason why I stayed up. Um... <laughs> It was a little difficult just because I'm not used to it yet of doing five keyblades. But I mean the strategies are the same. It just took it just took a little bit more thinking than usual. <laughs> yeah, I, that that's kind of why I wanted to stream this shadow to help uh maybe shine some light as to why like what you could possibly do for a five keyblade setup. Um I'm pro I'm planning to put portions of the stream up on YouTube as well uh, to hopefully help some people. Yeah, and setting up a Keyblade for five Keyblades was, uh, it was definitely interesting. It definitely... <sighs> it was complicated enough, at least the way it's set up. It's complicated enough where I felt like I needed to bust out pen and paper so that way I can, like, draw lines as to, like, okay. Turn one, we're doing this. Turn two, we're doing this so that this can happen. Kind of like a <laughs> little roadmap as to what I'm trying to do. I just sort of winged it, keeping with the triple threat, and it worked out all right. Okay. Yeah, um... Tra it, ailment, ailment strats. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm going with an ailment strat. Uh, ailment strats got... What? Where am I, by the way? Oh, I'm still in the same place. Um, ailment strats got way better, but... At the same time, um, they also got slightly harder to use solely because of the fact that your pet skills only provide a certain number of charges for, you know, sleep and paralysis. So once those are up, you, you more or less are forced to, well, maybe not paralysis, but you, you kind of have to start using the... Uh, you, like, have to use Triple Threat in the last slot. I think, kind of. It, it, it just kind of depends. Um, paralysis, you can still paralyze the opponent, but they're not guaranteed to skip two medals then. It's just kind of random. That their first three, any one of their first three medals in any combination can possibly get skipped or not get skipped at all uh, without the charge, the pet charge, pet skill. Um, sleep only... If you do a sleep skill that's not a vanilla skill, um, it's also like that, I believe, or it does just one, I think. I think it only does one metal. It only skips the first metal. Uh, and that can be kind of iffy, because sometimes they could just put a turtle metal or something in the first slot, or some random utility metal. Um, so it's, 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 that's kind of iffy. So at least, at least what I have, uh, what I decided to do, and it was great because I actually got to start truly utilizing the buffer method uh way more in here as well as turtling as well so the way i did it okay is that i i identified what my three strongest keyblades were going were going to be like first off okay for me my three strongest keyblades were starlight uh missing ache and olympia okay so normally what you would want to try and do is Kind of, uh, because you're going to be the attacker, so you'll be going first on rounds one, three, and five, so every odd turn or round. So you would normally want your three strongest Keyblades on those rounds, okay? However, at the same time, you want your, like, two weakest Keyblades to try and support your other Keyblades. So... I try have my I have my three wishes over here to try and support my missing ache. And I have normally I should be having Sleeping Lion right here to support my Olympia, but I'm not worried about that solely because of the fact that my Terra has 100 percent paralysis resist. So I don't have to worry about paralysis. Uh, now it's still possible that they could sleep me. But it's it's not as likely. It's still possible, but it's not as likely. Um, people are definitely going to start using sleep more often now, for sure, because you only have one pet skill, one charge for paralysis from your pet skill. 
Uh, and once it's used up, it's used up. It's just up to the luck of draw. Even if you paralyze them again, it's just kind of up in the air whether or not they'll they'll actually skip their medals or not. Because because some it, it's literally RNG at that point. Um, they could skip some. They could skip none. Um, they might skip just one. Like it, it, it's just up in the air. Um, so at that point, you want to if you're going to use an ailment strat, you would want to go kind of in this order, like poison. Um, maybe poison, or you could do paralysis here, okay, in, in turn two, uh, do paralysis here, or sleep, either, either one, okay, uh, use whatever you didn't use in these two, okay, so what I did is, on my stained glass number seven EX plus, I have poison two max on it, okay. Um, on top of the fact that my Shion has 5 max, so I still get my full buffs and debuffs. On top of the fact that I can still use an ailment strat and I get rid of their Suna turn 1. Now, because I am attacking first on round 1, it could be a little bit difficult. So, it, it, it might not always go off <laughs> round one because they might you know they might have a like a Kyrie or something to just cure the ailment so what i also did was just in case i made turn two my round uh i made three wishes a throwaway keyblade and i added another poison on here just to kind of help ensure that it goes off and try and help make sure i get rid of the opponents as soon as uh, on top of i made this my turtle setup sort of for uh for a buffer method Oh no, that's not buffer method, but just for turtling. So, because uh, I realized it, but there's not too many turtle medals in the game who buff defense and debuff the opponent's strength uh, for multiple turns. And that's the, that's the keyword right there, multiple turns. Because even though we have medals like... Even though we have medals like Ienzo or Kingdom Hearts 3 Mini, they only last for one turn. So... They don't work at all for the turtling that's needed for PvP. Um, at least not in the traditional sense. You could still have it in a normal setup like this, which could still help. Uh, if you do it right, so like for example, let's say, let's say if my three wishes happens to paralyze them on this turn, okay? Um, and my charge goes off and I got rid of their Asuna already, then they'll still be paralyzed by turn three because I'm attacking first. They'll still be paralyzed. The charge effect will still be on them. Um, then I can go like Ienzo or something in this setup. So I can have my full boss and D-boss. And by the time it gets their turn, they'll still paralyze. They'll still skip the first two medals. Um... They'll still have their strength debuffed as well, so they'll be at a severe disadvantage. Uh, so unless you do it do it like that, it's gonna like you have to do it like that in order to take advantage of like one turn turtle medals like Yenzo and, and Kingdom Hearts through many. Um, but yeah, the organization the old the organization plus turtle medals are definitely gonna be used way more again. Uh, just because of this, I started using my young King Mickey B again, just to get rid of all my gauges. I think Rock Titan, Kingdom Hearts 3 Rock Titan, also gets rid of all gauges too. So, uh, oh, no, 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 it, it only lasts for one turn. So, as soon as my turn is over, my buffs, my defense buffs go away. Hey, Genesis, TCG, thank you so much for the follow. Five defense... Max is going to be spicy if I have some. Yeah, right now I only have five defense boost max uh, skills. Um, so I'm kind of that's kind of another reason why I'm making my three wishes a throwaway keyblade because I only have four defense boost five max. So the the next closest thing I have is four max on these guys. So I was just like, we're gonna make this my <laughs> my turtling buffer method uh, thing. Whoops. Um, I have Elsa because her ability lasts for two turns as well. So she's going to provide a significant amount of strength buffs and defense uh, debuffs. Um, especially because my... Well... Hmm. It's not an issue anymore. 
I, when I was making my setup, I originally had it where I had a turtle metal instead of stained glass number five. Uh, I mean, instead of my Kyrie. So having my Elsa combined with my uh, my stained glass number five was going to get me the full amount of debuffs I needed. My 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 stained glass has extra attack, by the way. So it normally debuffs general defense by four, but with the extra attack, it does it by eight. So combined with the Elsa that lasts for two turns, I would have effectively had minus 16 general defense. Well, it would have capped at minus 15, you know, general defense down, which is what I needed. So yeah, anyways, back to the strategy. Starlight, first two turns, I'm trying to poison them to get rid of their Asuna. Okay, so that this way, regardless of whether I'm attack or defending, I can I can try and get rid of their Asuna. It also helped, by the way, I have the Incredibles 2 that has Poison 2 Max on it too. It's the only risk I have with this, uh, so is that it's possible that on the even number turns you could get your metal skipped. So that's kind of why I put Incredibles 2 here on top of having that poison at the end too, just in case. Um, but I have the Incredibles, I'm using the Incredibles 2 for another reason, which is to get rid of any buffs or debuffs my opponent happens to have. Because uh, I don't want any, like, I don't want any of their <laughs> buffs and debuffs to, to carry over. There was something else I was going to say on top of that, but I forgot. But I don't want them coming or carrying over, so any debuffs they have on me, any maybe turtle buffs that they might have on themselves, I'm just going to be like, nope. And I'm going to try and poison them at the same time. Um, but in case my first two medals get skipped for whatever reason, I still have the turtling from Vexen and Zexion here, which isn't too much to be honest, but I mean, it's, it's something. Um, then I have my young Kimiki B to use up all my gauges so that way I'm forced to tap to activate poison with Alice and Cheshire Cat. Then on turn three, I'm, I'm the attacker again, okay? It's kind of a more normal setup, but I have Paralysis 2 Max on Stained Glass number five. So this will be my first instance of using my Paralysis Charge for my pet skill. Um, and I'll be skipping their first two medals, okay? On top of the fact I do have some defense buffs from the previous turn and the opponent's general strength will also be debuffed a little bit as well by minus five, I believe. Okay, so. I have a little bit of turtling going on on top of their first two medals are skipped. So I'm at a, bit, a pretty big advantage. Well, it's, it's not the biggest advantage because I, I it's not a 15 buff or debuff for turtling, but it's it's something. It's still, it'll still make a noticeable difference. Um, then on Olympia, okay, because of the fact I know I can't be paralyzed, um, that's the only reason why I'm running Olympia on turn four instead of turn five, because uh, this is my... Uh, one of my three best keyblades. Uh, but so what I'm doing here is like, because I know I can't be paralyzed, I'm running that on turn four. And then on turn five, I'm going with a, uh, with another ailment kind of setup. Okay, so we have stained glass number eight with paralysis two max. Again, they'll still be paralyzed, but it's not guaranteed to make them skip any metals. So to kind of add on to that, and realistically I could probably take it off, uh, but just to kind of add on to that, I have sleep two max on here with my illustrated Orin uh, extra attack. So this will be my first instance of using sleep in, in my setup. So I'll definitely have my charges go off. They're guaranteed to skip at least their first two metals. Um, I believe the paralysis two max will have a chance or the paralysis from this two max because if I, I don't have my paralysis charge anymore because I used it up in turn three, um, it will have a chance of skipping their third medal, but it's not guaranteed. We also got a little bit of turtling with Demix. Truthfully, I would like to have my Kingdom Hearts 3 mini have defense boost 5 max, so that way I could use her instead of Demix, so I could run Demix and like my three wishes Keyblade instead, but I don't have enough defense boost 5 max going around to do something like that. Going with, it, it's, it's literally a combination of almost every single kind of PvP tutorial video <laughs> that I've made in the past. It's, it's just everything crammed together. Yeah. Let's see. 
Uh, triple threat in the last slot for some consistency and at least. Yeah, like, the thing is, so now the fact that we're going to five Keyblades, triple threat is way more riskier to use now because of the fact that it will literally use both your paralysis charge and your sleep charge at the same time, which is kind of not what you want um, because you kind of want to spread them out throughout the turns. So that's kind of, that's kind of like, the only issue with it so if you have the separate skills the separate skills are way more useful compared to triple threat you can still use triple threat but i feel like the only turn you should actually try using triple threat is a uh if you haven't used your paralysis skill yet your pet skill yet you could use you could run it on turns four or five this is as an attacker by the way you could run it on turns four or five so at the very least they'll still be paralyzed even after turn five ends uh for well after your attack on turn five ends if you've already used your paralysis charge say like within the first two here uh on turns four and five you want to start using sleep uh or if you're using triple threat you would run the triple threat specifically on turn five as an attacker in like your last slot <laughs> or last you know a couple slots depending if you have your charges left just so that way they can at least get slept um you're definitely gonna start seeing people if you're gonna start if you, all you really have are triple threat uh element skills you don't really have the separate poison max paralysis max and uh was it sleep max if you don't have the separate skills for that you're gonna have to start relying more on the original vanilla element skills um, and potentially make them skip three metals, okay? It's it's a bit of a boomer bust because, you know, it is RNG at that point. You're not guaranteed to get the, uh, the element to trigger. Uh, if you have if you equip all your skill perks though, they'll help increase the chance um, One thing that I do as well is that for any of my metals that have vanilla element skills on I normally put them on like my my like tier 3 tier 2 tier 1 metals because you know you get copies of those all the time um, So I just put it on ones that I knew had extra attack to kind of increase the chances of it proccing So that's that's what I did so, triple threat is harder, way harder to use just because of the fact you only have a limited amount of uh, pet skill charges for your elements. Um, with three Keyblades, it didn't really matter as much, but with five, it definitely matters now. Uh, separate element skills are way more kind of needed and required to for full control over your, an ailment strategy. Uh, turtling is usable again, uh, but it's also harder because there's not too many really good turtle medals in the game right now that last for multiple turns. Um, there are others besides Vexen Plus, uh, Zexion Plus, and Demix Plus that last for multiple turns, but none of the others actually debuff the opponent's strength. Uh, which is kind of kind of the problem so like For example if you remember there are still a bunch of old turtle metals that we used to have in the past uh, boop, boop. Okay. Um, We have obviously right now we have camera we have like the kingdom Hearts three ones this Baymax? Yeah, no, they they only lost one turn. King Master Mini only lasts one turn. We have Key Art number twelve, which lasts two turns, but it does debuff, or it does dispel the opponent. Um, so it's you have you basically have, kind of have to use that in slot one, which isn't a bad thing, but it is worth noting. Um, obviously we have HPO, but it's not it's that's like. This is like the basic of basic turtle medals at this point now. Um, we have Violet, which what came out a year ago or something. Uh, that she lasts multiple turns. She's like kind of like the next specs option outside of the Org Plus medals because uh, she lasts what like three turns I think, but she doesn't provide any strength debuffs. So she lasts yeah four turns. So it's kind of mm, want those strength debuffs as possible. 
Uh, in terms... Oh, yeah. I forgot Nominate EX Plus lasts for three turns as well. But she doesn't provide any strength debuffs either. But she does provide a little bit of uh, defense buffs. Um, there are... There is like a turn... I think it's like a tier three. A tier three metal that lasts... Oh, that's not it. That lowers an opponent's strength for multiple turns. So I know Zexion lasts for two turns. Both for... Defense buffs and strength debuffs, but he doesn't debuff very much. Um, but I mean, he's still there. Uh, Lady Tremaine and Daughters is pretty much one of the only <laughs> strength debuffers that actually lasts for two turns or multiple, yeah, at least two turns uh, alongside HD Zexion. So if you wanted to, you could try using Lady Tremaine and Daughters with HD Zexion uh, if that's kind of all you really have to work with. But yeah, outside of like those two and the Org Plus medals, there's not really any other medals in the game that debuff strength for multiple turns. I don't remember how many turns Hades lasts. Uh, I kind of want to check. I want to say it's one turn, but I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh, that banner's gone. Rip. Okay. If anybody has Hades, let me know how many turns he lasts. Because he can also possibly be a viable option. Uh, yeah, I think it's one turn as well, Genesis. In a hot minute, curious how turtling with five Keyblades will be. It's definitely going to be way more effective. That's for sure. But I did like one battle last night just to kind of make sure I, I, I secure a rank. A good rank at first. Uh, but... Yeah, we got, we got key for... Key, quite a few tries uh this was one of the few weeks where i was more or less okay with getting vip um granted it's still not worth 15 dollars, but it, it, it's way better than usual and you, you get a, like a free meta medal <laughs> from it so i was like you know what this will be probably one of the rare times where i'll get it for now so, but we got extra tries, so we can we can mess around with stuff if needed. To be honest, because it is day one, I'm not expecting anybody to actually have... I'm expecting most people to not have really understood or figure out how to best utilize their setups just yet. Um, to be honest, throughout this entire first week, I'm expecting most people to not completely understand how to do this. For Hades, both the special and Supernova is one turn. Okay, yeah, yeah, there's... So that just kind of confirms that Zex, HG Zexian, Lady and Tremaine, and Daughters, and those three Orc Plus medals are pretty much the only turtle medals that last multiple turns that contain strength debuffs. Uh, this has been an awesome and detailed explanation for this week's PvP. Thank you very much for the info dump. Hey, no problem, Genesis.